Well, so there's this guy named Jack Griffin, and he graduated from Harvard, doesn't get his dream job, ends up moving to Toledo, Ohio, and works as an AP biology teacher at a high school. Basically, there's a dude named Jack Griffin. <laughs> he got fired from Harvard. Came to Toledo, Ohio, not willingly, he had to come, of course, to get back into Harvard. And now he's basically teaching the AP Bio class that he doesn't want to teach, and he just sends us on these little missions that I guess make him better in some way. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. if you've ever seen any sort of movie or television show where the teacher is super inspirational, comes in and helps all these kids, just opposite of that is AP Bio, you know? Right. He, yep. he comes in here, we're all eager to learn, we're a bunch of dorky misfits. Yeah, we want to learn. Advanced yeah. Yeah. placement biology. We yeah. have not learned a thing. We're, we're nerds, <laughs> we're in advanced placement, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Not in yeah. real life, in the show. <laughs> What can I say about Grace? Grace is your typical girly girl. She loves light pastel colors. She loves pink. Um, she's that kind of girl who goes to church every Sunday with her parents, always turns in her homework on time. Yes, Dan Decker's a bully, all right? He's a bully. He's misunderstood is what it is. You, you'll find out later in the season that he moves from Florida and he just has a tough time talking to people, making friends. Listen, I'm gonna need you to chill out with that, all right? Listen, I do hypothetically throw somebody's backpack in a pond, but you know, I get it back and we later become very good friends. It's a fun one. It's so oddly specific. Like, there's no stereotype for Heather. She's just extremely sexually oppressed, strange, introverted. Um, yeah, she's really into fighting. So it's just a very odd character, and somehow it fits perfectly. I feel like she's just the more oppressed version of me. Jack says multiple times that, that Heather's his favorite. She's always got Jack's back. And I think, I think Jack is like Heather's god because he has had sex with 24 women. 24. Well, that's the funny thing is that when I got the very first audition, I barely even got a full page. It was just my little monologue. And it was, hey boy, you're smooth like butter dripping off chocolate. <laughs> and it was just this super sexual, weird catfish message. And that was it. That was my audition. I just got it and I was like, all right, I can do this. This is fun. I, I showed up to the audition in these big old glasses and I like messed up my hair. It was, hey boy, you're smooth like butter dripping off chocolate. <laughs> Gonna lick yeah. you up and down. And then imagine with, her with like huge glasses yeah. on, a magnifier.